you were ninja. Hey there, it's Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. I'm continuing our coverage of the RSA Conference 2012 here in San Francisco. We have walked the show floor and spoke with a lot of different exhibitors and businesses about various topics. One topic that we're going to talk about today is crypto. I'm here with Ben, the CTO of Cryptography Research. Ben, what can you tell us about cryptography? Well, cryptography is the science of information security and how to protect information, how to protect, authenticate, and verify information. Interesting. And how? What does cryptography research do? Yeah. Well. We do a couple of things. We have an active research group that looks to understand how devices can fail and how to protect them. We license some technology to protect devices against attacks, uh, what's called side channel attacks. And we also sell secure cores, uh, secure chips to protect TV um, and protect devices from being cloned or counterfeited. Speaking of devices, I know this might not be new, but you've got an interesting, uh, tell us about this here. So what you're seeing here is a German Enigma, which is a, cy a cypher machine used in World War II. Uh, it's sort of a, the beginning of a, 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 a different era of cipher machines. Codes in the 1900s changed to be machines that were uh, generally mechanical. And what you see here is a machine that looks like a typewriter. You actually type in the message that you wish to encipher. And you'll note that as I type in the message, uh, a light bulb will light over the letter that is the enciphered version of the message. And as I'm typing, these rotors, which represent the key, actually click forward, much like the odometer on your car. Now, the key, what's the most interesting stuff that's going on here is actually happening in the rotors themselves. Each rotor is a disk that has 26 uh, pins and 26 pads, representing the 26 letters of the alphabet. And it does what we call a permutation. It takes, uh, we energize one of the pins, and that then, the electric current then flows through basically three different permutations goes through the reflector and comes back, and then it lights up the respective light bulb on the other side. Wow. And so to use this machine, both operators would have the same machine, they would key it the same way, a symmetric cipher requires that you share the key, and they would the message would be enciphered one way, and the deciphering would involve setting the machine to the exact same starting point, typing the message in, and then reading the message off of the uh, letters over here. Interesting. It's definitely not new, but it seems very high-tech. That's cool. Secure Ninja Shorts are brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in information security and IT training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. SecureNinja.com, forging IT security experts. Yeah!